stuff. So, look, we're going to come back because you have come up with a wonderful deal with our kerfufflers. But if I try and just summarise now, I've been making a few notes as we've been going through along is in terms of, you know, the, the key takeaways they should understand about Let Mojo. The first thing is, is like automated referencing gives you very basic information on the tenant, doesn't it? It's not comprehensive, not checked by anyone. Uh, but you as the, obviously as the letting agent out there, in effect, then they're taking all the risk and making all the decisions, which isn't a great position to be in, is it? First off. Yeah. Secondly, you know, choose a company that's interested in the market and helping you understand that marketplace as well, rather than just trying to sell you product after product after product. Um, they're only in this obviously to make money from you and not to help you know your business grow, be safe, safe and succeed. Now, clearly you're a commercial organization, but you very firmly are at one end of the scale compared to some of these other ones that are really just about you know shifting shifting goods, as it were. Yeah. And then finally, customer service, unsurprisingly, is you know, that's why we got on Gary when we first spoke. You know, you you, you, you spoke the you, everything I, I I believe in myself. You know, that that's what's going to make your lettings business tick. You know, it has given some businesses, hasn't it? COVID. Let's be honest. Some of them have taken the excuse to drop the standards uh, and everything else there and, and lose that customer focus. I think it's going to be very interesting to see as we start to return whether they actually bother even trying to, 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 to build back in that customer service. I suspect they won't because, of course, when you've had that race to the back to the bottom, it's very difficult to build back up, isn't it? Yeah. So make sure you, again, build uh, work with a business that can help you answer your questions and work with you to improve on that customer service for both your tenants and your landlords. And then you, I always make the point is don't just be a supplier to the industry, be a partner with those businesses. I was just going to say that. I was, I was, you know, I was just waiting for a gap there and I was just going to say, you know, don't, even for the agents, don't come and be a, be a customer, be a partner. Yeah. Good luck, getting good, good luck getting a word in here. Uh, if, if you want a word in Edgeways, go on Chris Watkins' show. But Whaley, he controls this. <laughs> OK, guys, I think look, it's been really interesting. I, I do love what you're doing here, obviously. It's such a still a critical area of the business for so many. But you guys have been really, really generous as well, giving an exclusive offer out to Kerfuffle members. Again, I implore everybody, go and have a look at the wonderfully named Let Mojo on kerfuffle.com. You can see further information about them overview. You can see further recordings as we add to this over the coming months uh, as well uh, and you can see obviously the the deals that we've got on the table uh, the, the table there as well but crucially go and see what other named agents are and they're never anonymized go and see what they're saying because i think that gives as much of a, a feedback on suppliers as you can possibly as possibly hope for but i'm right in saying you've given a bundle of services out to our, our kerfuffle members haven't you which includes three full references three right to rent checks and three enhanced ID checks for free. Uh, yep, get to learn to try a bit of everything. That would have been that would have been really awkward then if you said no. I don't remember that <laughs> at all. But <laughs> you remember it, and you can't get it. You can't get it anywhere else apart that's, from kerfuffle. Well, that's the crucial thing. I've got to deliver for my kerfuffle as they are very. They're lovely people, but they're avaricious and high maintenance. So we've got yeah. to, we've got to keep them feeded, Gary. We've got to keep them feeding.